Hi everyone, here is the time-lapse video for the weird tusk boar sketch I did. Six in the backlog now. Here I took the lesson from the previous sketch and for this one made a very orange, very simple boar. Later I found everyone just called it Pumba, but at the time I didn't really think of that. I was actually trying to do like a Nino Kuni kind of monster, which doesn't fit too well either, but that's what I had in mind. I was also starting to dislike the textured parchment background as it clashed with the smooth texture of the ball, so I tried unsuccessfully to add a simple background which ended up looking like a weird glow in the end. I tried that idea once more before discarding it as well. Another issue I didn't realize while painting this was that the local values for everything were messed up. Everything was too bright and I think me focusing too much on making this image brighter and more colorful kind of backfired. I forgot about the basic fundamentals of what makes a good image. I do find when I try a new process I'm not too familiar with, I often forget a few fundamentals. It's hard enough keeping them all in my head already without having to try to figure out new steps to completing an image. So often problems like the shadows or the overall image become too dark when I play with too many layer modes or the form of things get munted when I try add too many details and forget the simple shapes. This is one of the benefits of using the same workflow. You get to focus less on the steps and more on building the forms and focusing on the fundamentals. I've also found with doing these quick images so frequently, I really start to see which fundamentals I'm the worst at. A lot of things are way more obvious when you don't get a lot of time to render each artwork. Getting something down with the fewest steps or paint strokes demonstrates the most understanding, I think, and also has the added benefit of speeding up your work. That will be all for the commentary today. If anyone has any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments down below. If you like these types of videos and want to follow me through this project, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting all the artwork on my Instagram, links down below. Other than that, I hope you guys learned something from the rest of this video and I'll see you in the next one.